Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a tutorial on this look right here. It is basically an old school smoky evening look uh, where you can wear it during the daytime depending on how lit you want your makeup to look. But I wanted to focus on the eyes in this tutorial because that's something I skip out a lot in my tutorials. I do a lot of skin based looks and I've said it so many times on a daily basis. I hate taking the time to do my own eyeshadow, uh, but I felt doing or I felt like doing something a little bit more smoky and classic today so I wanted to kind of hone in on the eye makeup in this look and show you guys how you can get this really uh, dramatic kind of diffused classic smoky look and it's super easy you only need three eyeshadows I'm working from the uh, persona identity palette this is the palette um, that Sona Gasparian designed this is her company I've had it for several months now uh, but it, this is a really great palette to have for uh, not just natural looks, but also smoky looks as well. So this is the look very, you know, kind of just uh, quintessential smoky. So let's go ahead and start. The palette I'm going to be using today is the Identity Palette by Sona Gasparian. I absolutely love her. She is so down to earth and uh, just a really amazing makeup artist. So I'm starting out with the lightest color in the shade. Let me see what it's called here. It's called Humble, and I'm just gonna use that as a base shade. Next, I'm taking Charming, and this is just a really warm brown shade, and I'm gonna use this as a transitional color. Anytime you do a really dark, almost black, smoky eye, or even if you use black, it's good to have a transitional shade. That way there's a nice gradient effect in your crease and you don't have a harsh line. Moving into the smoky color, I'm taking the shade called Fearless, which is a dark matte brown, and I'm just packing that onto my lid with a flat brush. So you don't actually have to be precise when you're starting out with your smoky eye, especially with one like this. Uh, just go ahead and place the shade on your lid. I try not to go past my crease since I do have uh, hooded almond shaped eyes. If your eyes are a little bit more rounded, then you can definitely go a little bit past your crease. Uh, but it just depends on your eye shape. Then I just took Maverick and Charming on a MAC 217 brush and I just uh, went back and forth in my crease with that. I don't like a really perfected looking smoky eye. I kind of like the grungy kind of, um, I don't know, imperfect smoky eye I guess is what I should say. So I'm just kind of blending until I'm satisfied and I'm going to leave it there for now and move on to the face and then come back to the eyes later. So I'm using the Smashbox Primerizer. This is a really good hydrating primer. And then for for a foundation, I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting, uh, really full coverage foundation. I actually did not apply it full coverage though because I went back over it with my um, foundation powder. So uh, just, I don't know, I wanted to use this foundation because I hadn't used it in a while. Uh, it's pretty full coverage and pretty matte. So that's really all I have to say about it. Uh, but after I buffed it in, I just took, um, actually I lied. I thought I used Bare Pro, but I actually went over it with my Bare Minerals original powder foundation. I wanted a little bit more of a luminosity. So I just buffed that in with the brush I always use for powder, the Hit Cosmetics blush brush. I know totally random, but this is what I always use for my powder foundation. And then for concealer, I took the Bear Pro uh, and use that under my eyes to brighten. Really random. Again, I don't really play by the rule book. I like using powder as an under eye highlighter and concealer because I feel like it sets better underneath my eyes. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how I do it. And I'm just using a Real Techniques contour brush to apply the uh, powder all over. Pretty much in the same place you would apply liquid concealer. And for contour, I'm taking the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. I pulled this out of my collection. I've had it for a really long time. And I'm just using the contour shade on a Zoeva. Oh gosh, I'll have to put the name of the brush down below. I get asked about this brush in every single video. Um, but I can never remember the name of it. After I contoured, I just took the warmer shade in the palette and I uh, just warmed up my skin, you know, gave my face a little bit more of a bronzy effect. And for blush, I'm using Max Melba Blush. This is a really subtle peach shade. I didn't want the cheeks to be uh, really blushy. Anytime I do a smoky look, I don't like a lot of blush. 
Uh, I think it's just overwhelming and I just prefer more of the subtle look. For highlighter, I'm using the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This is an oldie but a goodie. I've been uh, reaching for this a lot lately and just applying that to the typical places. Okay, moving back into the eyes, I'm using the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Liner. This is in uh, a really warm brown shade. I think it's M60, and I'm just tight lining my eyes and applying a little bit to my lower waterline. And then I'm taking Fearless and Maverick, and I'm just buffing out my lower lash line to make it look really smoky and blown out and kind of match the uh, top lid. You don't wanna be top heavy and then not have anything going on uh, on the bottom. And for a little bit more definition, I took Fearless on a uh, flat brush and I just applied that to my lower lashes to intensify a little bit more. I applied a quick coat of mascara and then went in with my um, Ardell Demi Wispies. These are just the lashes I always keep on hand. Um, I never ever really have any other style on hand so that's why you always see me use these I feel like they go with every single look uh, no matter what look I do so I just applied um, those and that was pretty much it <laughs> For lips, I'm applying the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte Lip Liner. I believe this one is in the shade 114. I'll have it listed down below. Uh, love these lip liners. They are amazing. And then I applied Charlotte Tilbury's Kim KW lipstick on top because why not? Kim KW kind of created the whole smoky trend, I feel like. I mean, she didn't create it, but... She made it iconic, I guess we could say. I hate to admit that, but she did. Okay, lip gloss was Max Boy Bait, and that completes the look. Had to fix the hair up here, give you a little side glow of that highlight going on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.